Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to do a small video on how to optimize your Forza Motorsport on uh, the Xbox. So first of all, we're going to look at your Xbox setting and after that we will go inside of the game. So first of all, in Xbox setting, go to your uh, TV display option. Make sure that your resolution is the proper resolution depending on what you're currently using. I want to mention if you want to do pure 4K 120Hz, you really need a TV or monitor compatible with an HDMI 2.1. So in my case, I just want to make sure I'm running 4K 120Hz. Another thing that I really recommend is the video mode. Make sure that you allow your HDR, so you really want to use your HDR for this game. It's pretty amazing and it looks very nice. Also, I recommend to use the low latency mode if you want to add it. The other parameter that I recommend is the video fidelity and overscan. Make sure that you're using the 10-bit one. Uh, if you're running 4K 120Hz, you can't run the 12-bit. You're going to have some compression, so you don't want to do that. So my recommendation is use this um, parameter to make sure that you optimize your visual. Also super important, I really recommend to calibrate your TV, calibrate also your HDR in the Xbox to have like the best visual possible when you're going to play the game. So now let's go inside of the game. Inside of the game, you have, we're going to go back to video, you have three different modes in the graphic. The first one is performance, the second one is performance RT, and the third one is visual. So the first one is all those modes using dynamic resolution, but it really depends on which one that you are using. For example, performance one, you're almost like 90% of the time at 4K native, but you don't have any other uh, visual effect like the ray tracing one. So it's a pretty, it's performance mode, 60 FPS, 4K native, and you're running on that. Performance RT, you're running, again, 60 FPS, but you're 80% of the time you're gonna run at uh, 1440p, so you're not running at 4K, but you're gonna have two different ray tracing. You have the first one will be uh, all those mirror effects and stuff like that, and the second one, the most important one for me, is the ambient occlusion ray tracing. You see that the game looks very nice, more deep, uh, it doesn't look flat without uh, when you it it looks flat when you use performance versus the RT mode. And the last one is visual. Visual is almost al also native 4K, and you're getting some uh, ray tracing. But the thing is, you're luck at 30 FPS. And honestly, me uh, in 2023, I can't play a game anymore at uh, 30 FPS. For sure, it's a racing game. Sometimes I know some people does don't mind to play at 30, but for me, it's a big bummer. My recommendation is to use the performance RT. Honestly, you don't really see it, the 1440p, or if you're playing like a nice OLED TV, and the ray tracing is amazing. Graphic look nice, you're getting a steady 60 FPS. I'm really, really impressed with the visual in the game. Also, I really recommend, again, make sure that you're doing your calibration with HDR. Mine look a little bit weird when I uh, first tried a game, so I did all my calibration, and now looks very nice. So this is pretty much it, guys, for my guide for Forza Motorsport. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Uh, tell me which TV that you're using. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.